What's the deal, man? It's your boy Goldie Box, man, coming to you from the dungeon, man, the garage. So, man, short video, man, and uh, just wanted to show y'all, man, what I got in this mail call uh, for the box, man. Yeah. So, man, what I want to do is go on and get into it, man. I ain't going to make this no super long video. Um... So this was going down, man. Let me flip that around real quick. All right, so what we got, man? Mail cow, mail cow. Um, so we got springs. Y'all can see we got springs. Front springs for the box, man. Uh, also, what we have here, man, is uh, uh, upper... We have upper control arms, upper con uppers, one side, there go another side, and then this box over here, oh, Gabrielle, shocks, ultras, Gabrielle ultra shocks, okay, two, one, two, both sides, and then we got lower bow joints. Lower bow joints for both sides, man. So, oh, I saw where Steve was taking off the uh, uh, SCS, uh, Steve Chevy Shop, Steve Davis, you know what I'm saying, fellow YouTuber. Um, I did go to uh, Harbor Freight, so I got some thin cutoff wheels. Hopefully, that'll do the trick. Um, I also got already got a punch, so I'm going to try to punch those out um, as far as that uh, upper ball joints. Cotter pins, man, I needed those. Of course, you know, you got to um, disconnect some some stuff there, so I needed those. Wire, I mean, uh, some uh, connector, butt connector assortments, man, for the, uh, for the wire. For the third brake light. Also got these, man. I went the cheap route, man. I spent a, a decent little amount of money um, just on Christmas gifts for my kids. Not even talking about the wife and all that. Um, but uh, I seen where Steve Chevy shop, he took off that, um, that shock. And he used a uh, ratchet wrench set to get the uh, top of that... Uh, top of that uh, shock is or shock off so um to get up there and some vice grips which i already have vice grips and all that but that's everything that i got man um i was a little nervous walk around like i say man the minute i get in here we back junky but it is what it is walk around here um the reason why i got the butt connectors was for the simple fact of um, we talked about the third brake light. Y'all got to excuse the light. Um, actually, I just take it out. Third brake light. So I went to the Savage Yard, got some wire, because that's the, this the only purpose that I really need wire for, for right now. So what I ended up doing was I knew that the wires on the back of here were a white wire and a black wire. So what I went and did was... I went to the Savage Yard, went to one of the cars, white wire, and some black wire, or close enough to black, which I believe it is black. So um, it looks like I'm going to have enough wire to get in here and take it from the top up here and wrap it around down to connect to this particular light right here. All right. Um, somebody can tell me because this light, the original box Chevy light, I know it's dark, but this light here, the original box Chevy light and the two tail lights on each side, supposedly that it's illegal to have more than those sets of lights. So, for whatever reason, some people take it telling me I'm going to have to take out the small original box Chevy light, which that was something that I did not want to do. 
Um, that's just me. I didn't want to do it. I want to actually keep that third original third bright light and mount this one. So I'm gonna go ahead, mount it in. If I get a ticket for it, it is what it is. But I want to turn around and uh, I want to have three brake lights just to be different. I ain't seen nobody do it with the big third brake light along with the original brake light. So I want to be different. I'm going to try it out. If it's a ticket, it ain't going to be that much. I ain't really tripping. It is what it is. So that's what it is. Y'all seen the inside of the box. It's dirty or whatever. Um, but we did go get what seems to be enough wire to go ahead and run that actual um that so what i'm gonna do is um i'm actually gonna try to pull the cotter pins out of these bolts up here get those out um tonight um the kids back at the house so unfortunately tonight i'm gonna probably try to cut this out as well um, to cut this off because because we got this um, shout out to my boy 78 Chevy boy um, Chevy box o, uh, the box OG the true box OG 78 Chevy boy he um, he told me basically or uh, watching his video because of our the way our glass and all that is set up with the Broham LS you cut trim that off and then um, you got all your mountain points, one right here, one right here, and one right here. You got all those mountain points, one here and one here. Put them on up and through your uh, through your plastic piece up in there. Um, set them off in there, man. Put it back up. Snap it right on into place. So I'm going to uh, eventually measure that out. But hopefully tonight I can pull the pins out of that side, that wheel over there, the pins. Get the moving that around as well as... Um, doing this. Um, I'm hoping I can cut this out. Shouldn't take long, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm a, my knife is gonna be able to do it or what. Got gas, excuse me. Um, but uh, do that. Um, um. So I plan on doing that. Um, trying to do that tonight, man. Um. Like I say, um, I got the 9th of January off, so hopefully your boy, um, after the kids' appointments and all that, hopefully that evening on the 9th, I'll be able to do a little bit more working on it. Um, and I'm going to try, if I can, I'm going to try to get some stuff done tomorrow. Um, I'm going to reach out, reach out to my OG. And uh, see if he actually has um, some car spring compactors or whatever the case may be so I can put that in. So that's what it is with me, man. I'm just a, uh, matter of fact, I think I'm about to go ahead and sit this side, this side here back on the ground so I can go ahead and take this wheel off. And uh, that's going to be it, man. See if I can get this side back on the ground, take this wheel off, and uh, then assume to taking these cotter pins out of the bolts that I need to take them out of, moving that out the way, and uh, you know what I'm saying, seeing what I can go from there. All right, y'all be easy.